Right now is a pretty exciting moment for us. Last June, we released 10 nine-month-old landing turtles. These are guys that had hatched out of nests in September of 2007. It was the first group raised by keepers, including John, at Zoo New England. And the idea is that by keeping the turtles warm over their first winter and feeding them basically as much as they want, the turtles grow to be about the size of four or five-year-old wild turtles. And that's important because when they get that big, their shells are big and strong, and there are a lot fewer animals that can eat them. So we're hoping that makes it a lot more likely that they'll live to be adults. And in the case of Blanding's turtles, if they're females, they probably don't start laying eggs. They don't really become mature until they're about 18 years old. So it's a long time away, we're hoping. But this is a bit of a moment of truth. So this was the first winter that they've spent now on their own at Great meadows under the ice. Ice has recently melted and now we'll find out how they're doing. And so John's using a radio receiver to uh, look for the turtle. So the turtle, these young turtles, have small radio transmitters glued onto their backs. And the radio transmitters are putting out just a little pulsed beep every second or so. And John hears that by tuning to the turtle's channel. So each of the turtles has its own channel. Hey, I got one. I got one. Ah, look at him. Wow, he's still hibernating. That's great. All right. Wow. Awesome. 200.8 grams. Huh? Fattened up over hibernation. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, that's good. Huh. Yeah. Got your calipers? A carapace length, 105.3 millimeters. Plastron is 101.5 millimeters. So all these guys will need new radios in a month. And um, at that time, we're going to take them in to the uh, New England Aquarium. And they need to be sexed, actually, surgically. And then using the video feed, uh, the veterinarian steers the camera head and will look to see if it's got male or female sexual organs. It's the only way to tell. And each one of these, each one of these outer plates has a number. So this group to the left of the head are the hundreds, and you count from here, so that's one, two, so that's 300. And then here's the other notch. This one's a little subtle, right over there. And so this group, to the right of the tail, are the ones. So this is the first one. So that's 301. 301. And um, the radio transmitter and the epoxy together only weigh about 2% of what the turtle does. So it's pretty light load for it to carry. We're going to record the exact location where we found the turtle with a GPS and we're going to take some notes just on the habitat, on what kind of plants were growing there and about how deep water is. And we'll let the turtle go and we probably won't bug this turtle again for a month until it's time for a new battery. <laughs>